This is a potato cannon. It pretty much does exactly what you think it would do. And today, I'm gonna make a potato cannon, but make it just a tiny bit smaller. Potato cannons are actually a lot more simple than you might have thought. You have the chamber, the barrel, the ignition source, and like, yeah, that's pretty much a potato cannon. So the first thing I need to figure out is what the chamber is gonna be made of. I thought a piece of PVC pipe could be a pretty good option because you can just put an end cap on it, fill it with gunpowder, and you just, you, you just created a pipe bomb. A slightly better option I thought about is one of these small aluminum flashlights that you can buy literally anywhere. The flashlight is actually a really good option for the chamber, and you'll see why. This piece has threads that pops right out, and then if we take out the batteries, you can see there's a lot of room in here for the chamber. This is actually going to work perfect for the chamber because we need a way to take the end cap off to get the fuel inside the chamber. Since there's already a hole in the cap, I think we're just going to leave that and put the barrel in it. I'm going to see if I can actually pull out this spring piece just with a pair of pliers, and then we won't need to actually cut it out. That came out really easy. Because this is actually a button, there's kind of like a spring mechanism inside, so I think we're just gonna start taking this apart and see what it's like. So the chamber system is pretty close to being done, and right now I need to figure out a barrel. The goal is to find something pretty much that diameter, and I have something in mind. A metal straw. We do need to cut off the part that curves because we kind of want it to shoot straight. I'm not really a professional for like miniature potato cannons, but. I didn't even test this out before, but look at how perfectly this fits. That is perfect. The piece of plastic with the hole in it is kind of thin, which also means it's not gonna be very strong. I think if we have the straw in here and we fill this piece with hot glue, I think that would be pretty solid. Check this out. This just screws right onto the chamber and it just, it's ready to go. So this is the chamber that the fuel is gonna go into, but we still need a way to actually ignite the fuel and have it shoot out the potato. To accomplish lighting the fuel in the chamber, I need to take apart a barbecue lighter and take one piece off of it. Out of these different pieces, this is the only thing I need. When I push this button, it's gonna create a spark between both of these wires. Basically, I'm gonna mount this piece on the side of this, and this is gonna be like the trigger for the entire thing. Something I do wanna do though, is punch out this piece of plastic covering the lights and then fill it with hot glue. I really don't know how strong this back piece is, and I kinda don't want it to like fire back. I think that could kinda be bad. Before we start testing, we're gonna reinforce it. When you try and glue anything to metal using hot glue, it doesn't stay on super well, so I added a couple zip ties around the button just to make it hold on better. All the components are pretty much put together, but right now we just need to shorten these cables and put them into those holes. The wires now go inside of the chamber, so once we push the button, there's gonna be a spark inside. I still need to put some hot glue over the wires just to kinda like seal it in a little better. I'm also gonna take part of this popsicle stick and glue it over the button just to make it a little bit easier to push. I honestly have no idea how powerful this is gonna be, but we're gonna find out right now. 99% rubbing alcohol should be a pretty good fuel source for the smallest potato cannon. For the first test, I'm actually not even gonna shoot anything, but I just wanna see how much like power I think this has. 
I'm just gonna dip my finger in some of the rubbing alcohol and put some on the inside because I kinda don't think we need that much. I'm gonna put this piece of popsicle stick here and see how much power it has. Testing the world's smallest potato cannon in three, two, one. Oh my goodness. This has so much more power than I was expecting. That is impressive. The potato cannon is pretty much complete, so we got it. World's smallest potato cannon is pretty much complete, but we got to test it out correctly now. Testing the world's smallest potato cannon in three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Bro, what, what was that? That is actually like powerful. I was not expecting that. I think in order to properly test this, we got to do a long range test and see how far it actually shoots. It's only about two degrees outside, which is kind of cold for rubbing alcohol to burn. So I'm thinking this is probably gonna be a little bit underpowered. The road I'm standing on is about hundred feet long. So we should be able to see where the potato lands and also just be able to figure out how far it actually went. Let's give it a shot and see how far it goes. Long range test in three, two, one. That was actually not too bad. I saw it land somewhere around here, which is about 50 feet. So that's actually impressive. Three, two, one. That was actually kind of far. The wind kind of caught that one. So it kind of went to the side, but that actually landed like way over here. I'm not seeing the potato probably because it's like the same color as everything else. Three, two, one. I'm gonna see where that landed. It looked about halfway, so that's pretty far. This road is 100 feet from where I shot it from, and this is a little over halfway, so I'm guessing this is probably about 60 feet. I found the piece of potato, and I'm a little surprised it's all in one piece. This thing definitely has way more power when it's warm. I definitely think this would go like 20 feet farther if it was warm outside. I'm kind of curious what would happen if I made like a life-size one of these, but made it still run off rubbing alcohol. But this thing is pretty cool. I would say I successfully made a super small potato cannon. Also considering I had no clue what I was doing the entire time, I would say we made something kind of all right. Hit the subscribe button with more power than this. It doesn't have an insane amount of power, so it's not hard to beat. Please drop a comment down below for what else you think I should make and how I can make this just way more powerful. Destroy that subscribe button if you're new here and I'll see you in my next video.